Hey there, happy day 22 of our Get Up and Go Challenge. Today we're gonna to talk about the A in our SOAP framework with respect to our finances. And I call this one financial urine because the tool we're gonna to talk about today, as much as I like to find good, clean ways of describing things, when this is the acronym for this word happens to spell out the words, the word, it spells urine, and it doesn't in that order, but every time I look at it now, once I saw that, I can't unsee it. And so I thought I might as well call it out because that's what the letters stand out, and it's a good way to remember it. Urine is a good way to remember things. Anytime there's a word that we have that is a commonly known word and it spells out and make, creates an acronym, it helps us remember the different elements or steps of a thing. Well, we'll talk about that in a minute, but I wanted to get it out there right off the bat because it seems so weird. So yesterday, we were talking about our financial options, right? What are all the possible ways we can create the situation or the story we want to have in our life versus what we happen to have right now? How are we gonna go about filling that gap? Well, I brainstormed my list and I, I got it here. I don't think I posted it yesterday. I was hanging out with family and doing other things and enjoying my beautiful new granddaughter. So <clears throat> I have my list and on my list, what we want to do is we were going to share three things. Why three things? Because it gets us out of that yes or no, black or white, good or evil, yay or nay, it's this or the end of the world type of doom and gloom thinking by limiting our possibilities. The options and the possibilities that are out for in the world for each and every one of us to deal with any challenge or change we face are actually unlimited for the most part. There's so many possible ways of dealing with a situation or a change that we don't even allow ourselves to see. We don't even see because we don't believe that they're possible, but they're absolutely positively possible. That's why we picked three. So now we're going to take those three things and we're going to send them through the urine analyzer, which is, again, I'm going to show you my little chart because it doesn't spell urine. I usually do, um, when I'm making a decision among alternatives and choices, I like to use, we use the plus and minus. We use the heart, the head, the uh, our intuition. We've used those as analyzing frameworks. And today, if you're in framework, I think I'm just going to start calling it the urine framework because I can remember it. Is it a little weird? Yes, but I can remember it that way, so why not do it? It's urgent, important, necessary, resources and effort. I want to analyze my alternatives that I'm looking at for the area of my finances using this criteria, these criteria, these grid. Again, urgent is as defined by you. If you're looking at the alternatives on a scale of one to 10, how urgent is it that you do this alternative? How important is it on a scale of one to 10? How necessary is it? A lot of times there's things that we could do that are urgent and important, but they're really not necessary. You know, it's urgent and important to do the dishes on a regular basis and keep up on them, but is it absolutely necessary? Until you run out of dishes in the cupboard, it's probably not absolutely necessary. Um, resources. This is one I love because it asks me to tap into and think about, do I already have some resources in place that I can help me make this happen. Maybe I'm, I'll talk through this with a couple of examples of what I'm looking at to double my business and double my, not double my business. I don't wanna work twice as hard. I wanna double my income. There's a very big difference between doubling my business and doubling my income. Uh, I wanna double my income without doubling the amount of work and effort that I have to put forth to create that income. And those are two very different ways at looking at finances. So is do I have resources already available that I can use to help create that and make that happen? D yes or no, some, some options, some alternatives, some possibilities I do, other possibilities I absolutely positively don't. Uh, and then E, the E stands for the amount of effort or energy that I personally need to put forth to get this project or this alternative off the ground, to take action toward it, to make it become a, a possibility and reality for me and my life and my business and what I'm trying to accomplish with my finances right now. So that's just kind of a rundown on the new urine analysis. I like that because how many of us, at least if you've had a baby, you've had lots of urine analysis. Uh, so let's just do this. Let's run through this really quickly, this framework, and I'll actually do my homework if I can find a pen or a pencil right along with you. And we'll, I'll just write a couple examples of how I would personally score this. So the three alternatives I pick, let me grab a magnifying glass, are uh, rebrand and monetize um, the things that I've already created, like my podcast. My podcast has over 4,000 episodes on it. So why would I not? And, and it's under my 
pajama grandma moniker because I went as pajama grandma my first couple of years online. Why wouldn't I rebrand and relaunch and repurpose that particular tool that I've already created and um, use that as a framework and a way for doubling my income, not my effort, my income. The second one was to create a mastermind. And the third one was to do some kind of coaching. And that, um, so let's look at what, how would these fall out with respect to my goal and objective, what I really want to accomplish from where I am, where I am now, level of income too, I want to double that in 2021. So uh, rebrand, how urgent is that? I'm going to say that's about an eight for urgency because it's something I've been thinking about for a couple of years and I've really been thinking about it since last year because, and this year on January 8th, I dropped Pajama Grandma because I finished the final uh, episode of the 365 day challenge to do one fun thing every day a little bit into 2021. So on January 8th of this year, I stopped pretty much across the board using Pajama Grandma and I've just been showing up as myself, Sharon Horn Elstrom. So I think it's urgent. It's pretty urgent that I rebrand and I do something. So I don't, and I want to tie it into all the work I've done previously, but morph and change as I go forward. So I think it's pretty urgent. I also think that it is also pretty important. So I'm going to give that an eight. Is it necessary? You know, I've, I've gone two, three years without rebranding. So do I absolutely possibly have to do it? I'm going to say no, but I really think it is pretty necessary. So I'm going to give it a six. Resources. Do I have any existing resources? Tons. Uh, do I need a lot of resources to redo it? Mm, I'm thinking, you know, less than average. So let's give that. Uh, and so that's looking at it from both ends of the spectrum, right? Resources that I have. And maybe I want to give it two numbers. So like uh, resources, I'm going to say H for I have resources or N for, or let's use A for acquire or need, right? Need resources, N for need, H for uh, have. So I'd say I've got, I've got a 10, I've got a nine for have resources because they need to be changed and updated in a, a couple ways or repurposed. And then need, I'm going to give it a five because I think that we really do Oh, for resources I need, I, I don't think it would be that expensive. I think I'm going to give that about a three because I don't need that many resources. And I don't think it's really going to be super expensive to do that. Now, effort. How much effort and energy do I personally have to put into doing this? Uh, on a scale of one to ten, I'll have to do the foundational groundwork and my choices and my things that are important to me, those those key pieces, but I can really hire somebody else to do that for me. So as far as effort, really, I'm going to give it a three because I don't think personally I'm going to have to put in a ton of effort to do that. Now let's look at a mastermind. If I did a mastermind, how urgent is it that I create a mastermind? Uh, <clears throat> there's like a gazillion masterminds out there. So I'm going to give it a five. I don't think it's urgent. I've, I've done a mastermind before. Could I do it? Is it a fun thing to do? Do I love doing it? Yes. Is it urgent? No. Uh, is it important? Well, I like to think that my masterminds are awesome and that it would be important for people. So we'll give it a seven. Uh, necessary, I guess to me, urgent and necessary. Is it urgent for me? Necessary, is it necessary to do out in the world or is it going to totally impact my life? Again, I'm going to say about average because there's a lot of, of things and other, other resources people can tap into out there. Resources wise, as far as what I have, I've got an entire framework. So I'm going to say a nine again and necessary or uh, need. What resources do I need? I actually think I probably have all the resources that I need to do a mastermind. So I'm going to give that a, a one in terms of needing. I don't need to go out and get a whole bunch of resources. And I think what I'm going to do when I score this for myself is I'm going to take an average of the two. So nine and five, what did I say? Nine and five, nine, 10, 11, 12 um, is... 12 divided by 2 is 6. So I'm going to score that a 6. And then for this one, need, 9 and 1 is 10. So I'm going to score this one a 5 as an average. I know. Way to, way to complicate it and make it sound hard to figure out. And then as far as effort goes, how much effort would I need to put into a mastermind? I must say that one's about a a 3 as well, or 2 or a 3, because I've already done them before. I know what to do. It would be really easy for me to create and and present a mastermind and have, you know, Zoom meetings and things with people. I've got all the tools, done it before. I know how to do it. So that would be, it wouldn't require, sorry, sorry about that. It wouldn't require a ton of effort. So the last one, coaching. 
So what's my urine analysis of coaching? So urgent, is it urgent for me to coach? Um, no, I don't think it's urgent. So let's give that a four. Is it important? I like to think that I bring something to the table and it's important. So we'll give that a, a seven. Is it necessary? Well, again, there are like a gazillion coaches out there, but maybe there's not coaches for the unique people that I am here to serve. So necessary, we'll give it a six. I just go with my gut instinct on this. Uh, as far as resources, what do I have and what do I need? <clears throat> I think if I do a coaching program, and I didn't write program, but let's say I want to do a coaching program. I have the content and everything I would need to do that and the knowledge and the wisdom to do that. So I would say, again, a nine, I don't know why I'm rating myself on having and all these things, probably because I'm thinking about repurposing and just building on what I've already done so that I don't have to create a lot of new th content and things. But what do I need? I think I would need to do a good job at it. I think I need about a five level of resources. I need more help with resources in that area than I feel that I have right now in terms of team and structure. Do I have systems and things in place? Have I coached before? Yes, that's why I say resources in terms of information and things I need to know I've got. Let's add those together. Nine and five is 14 divided by two is seven. And then finally, effort. What effort would be required? Now this one's gonna take and require more effort on my part, right? It's gonna require that I spend time and energy and participate and, and interact with people. Now, I'm not talking one-on-one -on -one coaching. I guess I should put group coaching right here because I'm not interested in doing one-on-one -on -one coaching anymore. I've done plenty of that. I love it, but it's very time-consuming, very demanding. And it's very dependent on making sure there's a good match between me and the person that I'm coaching one-on-one. -on -one. Only had a couple times where that wasn't a good match, but for the most part, I've learned that these are the people I work with, these are the people I won't. And so, I'm talking about a group coaching program here. So to automate and get that all going, the effort required, I must say that's about a seven because I think it would take some structure and framework to put it in place the way I want it to, the level at which I want it to be presented. So now if I add all these up and I can't, I don't have my phone, so I can't do it on my phone. Let's just see if I can add in my head still. 12, 28, 29, 30, 31 for option one, <clears throat> 10, 17, 22, 23, 24, 25 for option two, and for 10, 17 again, wow, it's 17 and seven, 24, oh, seven, seven, seven is 21, 31, right? Seven, seven, yep, 31. Oh, I got a tie. So I've got a tie actually, which is surprising to me between coaching, which is option three, and rebrand, which is option one. Now, when I personally am looking at a tie, that means if I look at the whole urine analysis, the whole overall structure and framework for analyzing this, I could go with either one. I will personally always go with the one, the option that requires me personally to put forth the least effort. So that means I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the rebranding. So I'm gonna rebrand and repurpose, that's my selection. So all I have to do today for our action item is share one thing I'm gonna act on in the comments below. So mine is, I'm gonna rebrand. Now what exactly my action is gonna be to explore that today, I will share in the comments below. I will remember to share in the comments below today. So that's all we need to do today. Run your three options through the urine analysis. I know, urgent, important, necessary, resources and effort and just use that as a tool and a framework for analyzing the options and the different alternatives. Is it a little complicated the way I explained it today? Yes. Sorry about that. But I tend to, to tweak tools on the fly, like the, the resources, what I need to get and versus what I have. Those are two really important questions to ask. And I've actually never done it that way before where I've actually taken the need and the have and, and averaged it to create my number, to create my my results. It's just a way of taking really subjective things that we're looking at and making them more objective by assigning a number and a rating and, and, and a numeric value to them. All right, that's it. Any questions, hit me up in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow for the P in our 
financial process planning and in our looking at how do we apply this SOAP framework to the financial area or aspect of our life that we're looking at as we go through the challenge. Have an amazing day and I'll be with you tomorrow.